Hello guys, another video from my car as every Friday on this channel. Not that much about Laravel from technical point of view, but more about career. And recently I've been watching quite a few videos like 20 things I wish I knew when I was 20 or something like that. Or 10 things I would tell my younger self in my 20s or something like that. And I thought what I would tell to myself as a fresh Laravel developer who would just start with Laravel. So I made a list of five things I will tell you now, kind of I wish I knew when starting with Laravel. Some of those things are not necessarily about Laravel, but general thing when starting with any framework or language, but some of them are more specific to our beloved framework. So number one is read the information about some feature in at least three different sources. If you try to learn something like, for example, queues or middlewares or whatever topic, the docs will describe it differently from text-based tutorial, from a video tutorial, from a course, from another tutorial, because the use cases would be different and some of those details you would get only when reading a few different sources from different people. And in some cases you will see the patterns between the code and will understand something kind of between the lines. And this is related to point number two. I wish I knew that Laravel means freedom of choice how you write your code. So one of the typical questions I get over the years is how to structure Laravel project. Use actions or services or repositories or whatever. And the answer is it's your personal preference in most cases. So I wish I knew or I wish I would internalize more how much of a freedom Laravel allows. And that is actually an advantage and a disadvantage for some cases. Many developers wish that Laravel would be more strict, so we would have one pattern to write code and probably will have lower probability of someone doing something really out of the box, which is not that easy to maintain later for other developers. So this is why you should read at least a few sources about any feature and ideally to learn something you would need to try a few different approaches, a few different tools and then choose your own path and which sticks to which project, which may be different for different projects. And also related tip number three, I wish I knew that Laravel tools and PHP tools and general tools are overhyped quite often. So Laravel as a community is famous for kind of marketing and being cheerful and hype the new tools, especially the first party tools, but not necessarily. And quite often it seems like you need to start using the tool right away in all of your projects. And it's not the case. In very rare case, you should be early adopter of something, unless for your personal interest or as a hobby. Generally, all of those new packages like PEST, for example, over the years it became the standard, but it took like five years or so. But other packages or functions released, do you use Vault or Precognition? Maybe some of you do, but not many. So yeah, I wish I knew that I shouldn't overreact or overhype on new tool releases. It's cool, but usually it's better to be a bit later adopter, give it at least a few months for the documentation, for polishing, and then you may start using the tools. Thing number four I wish I knew before is how easy it is to start writing tests in Laravel. So many developers do not kind of do not have time for write tests, but in Laravel it's so easy to start. Pest makes it even a bit easier, but in general to test that your pages return to 100 or your APIs return good status code, it's so easy to start testing and then you get into habit of doing that. For so long I've been postponing writing tests and as soon as I started I never stopped. And this is actually related to previous points. Since Laravel is freedom and allows so many developers to write code in so many ways, tests are even more important because they should test that something may be buggy. And finally tip number five I would give to my junior self starting with Laravel or with any framework for that matter is that you should not just write code as a learner but also analyze someone else's code. There are so many open source repositories of Laravel or again any framework you should analyze others code see the patterns, notice the patterns, and also try to contribute or maybe locally try to improve the code, not necessarily contribute to the package or project itself. But reading the code of others is one of the best ways to learn on top of or in addition to writing the code 
yourself. For that, I have a special page on Laravel Daily, free open source projects of Laravel, and I will link that in the description below. More than 100 projects are listed there, so you can analyze their code and learn how others write Laravel code. What would you add to that list? What would you tell your younger self or your junior self who would just start with Laravel? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.